The apartment is located in Nena Casas, a calm street in the residential neighborhood of Tres Torres. This is our home, and we share it with our dog, Vilma. We both own our business, so we sometimes use home as an office. I'm Diana Martin, a creative director and copywriter. And I am Max Enrich, a furniture and object designer from Barcelona. This episode of Never Too Small is brought to you by our book, Reimagining Small Space Living, our love letter to the visionaries and artists of small footprint design. Get yours today at nevertoosmall.com slash store. Nena Casas is a very calm and green area with very little commercial activity. The villa was built in 1936. It belongs to a community of six small houses. They belong to six different prostitutes. Each house was named after one of them. Ours is named Villa Montserrat. The villa is 45 square meters, with an additional 4 square meters for the glass patio and 40 square meters for the rooftop terrace. Our concept was to create an open yet intimate space with furniture that serves more than one purpose. Even though we are limited in space, we didn't want to feel like there's anything missing. Originally, the ground floor of the villa had many rooms divided by walls. We removed all the walls, except for one that divides the bedroom from the main space. We added a new bathroom inside the bedroom. We designed and integrated furniture built into the villa for plenty of storage space. Finally, we designed a glass patio that extends the living area to the outer space as you enter the villa, you are greeted by Vilma on the curtain. We made a cutout for the door to let more light into the entrance. There is a custom bookshelf, or library as we like to call it. It divides the entrance from the rest of the house and creates some intimacy from the moment you come in. There is hidden storage at the bottom. Along the left-hand side is a custom-built low storage unit that spans the entire length of the wall. It provides hidden storage and a surface to display objects that we have collected. The furniture and wall on this side of the room was painted in a light mustard color. It creates a nice contrast to the light blue floors. We built a multifunctional piece that combines a sofa, a dining table and a counter all in one seamless unit made out of painted MDF. The countertop can also collapse down when not in use to free up space. On the other side is a dining table that can seat up to five. The kitchen is fully equipped with an induction cooktop, a medium-sized sink, a hidden dishwasher, and lots of storage from floor to ceiling. The kitchen also continues around the wall under the stairs, where you can find a fridge, oven, and more pantry space. Under the stairs, we have our laundry behind a hidden door. The office is to the right of the kitchen and continues to follow the same design language to look like one large unit. We integrated a built-in light above the desk and plenty of storage all around. The table has a glass top 
and showcases our collection of scissors. You enter the bedroom using the sliding doors. Above the bed, there is a narrow ledge behind to act as a headboard and a place to put our lamp and personal belongings. There is a large built-in closet along the wall. The bedroom also contains our bathroom. We wanted the rooms to seamlessly blend into each other, so we decided not to divide the spaces with the wall, which would also darken the bedroom. We used small grey mosaic tiles from floor to ceiling and also covered the entire vanity with the same tiles. The best part of showering here is the automated skylight. You can have a shower with natural light and as it opens, all the heat and steam can leave the house. The glass extension allows us to bring the outside into our villa. The extension also contains the stairs that lead us to the rooftop terrace. The rooftop is like a small house by itself. It's very nice to have it here in Barcelona with the weather that we have. We use it almost all year round. We design outdoor furniture so we can have a dining table and some seating where we can relax and entertain our friends. We have also filled it with lots of plants to provide a lot of greenery to keep the space fresh and also create some shades. When designing small spaces, we combine furniture to a more multifunctional solution. This way we optimize space. Barcelona has its expansion limited by the geographical context. There are still plenty of small spaces to be refurbished to make more housing for people. We think these inner city dwellings are suitable for couples, young families and even the elderly. For the moment, it is just the two of us living here and Vilma, of course. This villa has everything we need in a small space. Have you been inspired by something you've seen on Never Too Small? Help us make more Never Too Small more often so we can keep the inspiration coming. Support us on Patreon today. Thanks for watching. To receive updates on our latest episodes, please subscribe and click the notification bell. And if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com/submissions.